welcome to the worship service of Victoria Congregational Church, where no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. This is Sunday, October the 2nd, the uh, 17th Sunday of Pentecost, and it's also World Communion Sunday. Our service is modified today because um, they're painting the sanctuary. So we're in Fellowship Hall again, if you're watching from home uh, on the video. But just a point of reference, so it'll be a little different than, than usual, but most of the things are the same. We are worshiping God together. So glad you're with us here in Jamaica, New York. For those of you here in the congregation, uh, since we're seated at tables, I'm not going to make you stand for, for the different uh, parts. Uh, in the worship service today, uh, I mean right in the middle of this, uh, of this uh, service, maybe ask someone to read or something, so very informal. At this time, let us begin with the call of worship. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Give us a vision and help us to live. Where there is no revelation, people cast off restraint. Give us a revelation and help us to have self-control. Where there is no prophecy, the people cast off restraint. Give us prophecy to help us to know limitations. Where there is no guidance from God, law and order disappear. Give us guidance, help us to know order. Where there is ignorance of God, crime runs wild. Give us knowledge, help us to be gentle. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Help us to live into your vision. Stay tuned. We may have to do the same kind of 
collaboration between the two uh, congregations. They won't be having the meal, but we may have to set up the tables in between. So uh, we'll take it in stride that, that the building is being taken care of and that eventually is going to be uh, shining. <laughs> so glad you're with us today. Uh, we have one reading of scripture today, which will be Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 8, and verses 11 through 16. It will be a responsive reading. I, Paul, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making ever, every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you are called to the one hope in the Father. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it is said, when he ascended on high, he made captivity itself a captive. He gave gifts to his people. The gifts he gave were to stand on the apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and some teachers, to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for building out the body of Christ, until all of us come to one unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to measure of the full stature of God. We must no longer be children, tossed to and fro and blown by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheme. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head. Unto Christ, from whom the whole body is joined and knit together by every ligament, with the malicious of two gifts, as each part is working properly, promoting the body's growth in the building of the self of the world. Let us now read in unison the common vision. We, we the members of the Victorian Congregational Church, Church, in communion and fellowship, will engage in a mission that joins us together as one community, inclusive of all people. We shall reach out to other communities to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and proclaim his love and blessings to all by our actions as well as our words, thus developing spiritual habits for faithful living. With God's blessing and guidance, we may grow as individuals, as a congregation, and most importantly, as members of a truly welcoming community of all God's children. May the peace of Christ be with you. And also with me. For you who are worshiping with us by video, you can turn the video off now or uh, after the service. Uh, wish somebody the peace of Christ. Grab their hand. Give them a kiss on the cheek or a hug. Or call someone and say, I'm here by myself, but I want to share the blessings of God with you. May Christ's peace be with you. As we continue with our service today, we will be setting the table. It's, it's, it's kind of set already, but just in preparation, since we're do, doing more of like an agape meal of sharing with one another and having communion today, um, I will need three readers. So. Reader one, reader two, and do reader three? Yes. Okay, so we will begin with our setting of the table. On the table in the midst of this community with whom Christ is present, we set symbols to remind us of his promises to us. The candle to remind us of Jesus who says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Bread, a symbol of Jesus who said, I am the bread of life. 
The bread that I shall give is myself for the life of the world. A cross to remind us that Jesus said, a new commandment I give you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all we know that you are my disciples, if you have loved one for another. Lord, we welcome your presence with us. May the food and companionship we share nourish our bodies, hearts, and minds. May our spirits be refreshed as we live in the light of your presence with us now and at all times and places. Amen. For you who are watching at home, this is Communion Sunday, so you have the opportunity to turn the uh, video off and go gather elements, crackers, bread, even a cookie, whatever you may have to share with us, and some juice, uh, wine, juice, uh, water, even water, whatever you may have, or a cup of coffee. We're sharing commonly here, and the grape juice was a common element of the day when Jesus was uh, taking of those Lord's Supper, taking of what we call the Lord's Supper. And so as we prepare for this time around the sacred table, we'll be singing together uh, one verse of I Love to Tell the Story.
Here God beckons us to meet in our individuality and joins as one family around this table. Bless this bread and wine that we may be strengthened in our faith and show forth your praise in our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together now the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The bread which we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. The fruit of the vine that we drink, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The cup that we bless is the communion in the blood of Christ. As the bread we break was scattered over the mountains, and when brought together became one, so let your church be brought together from the ends of the earth into your kingdom. For yours is the glory and the power through Jesus Christ forevermore. Let us now partake. For us in the congregation, there is a cellophane layer on the top of the pill. Uh, off. Sometimes it's hard to get to. So as we, will, I will take a piece of the bread from here. So <laughs> this is the body of Christ given for us. Let us eat of the body of Christ in the blessing. Then remove the foil layer. Actually. Uh, Gail the juice. A cup of blessing given for us. Let us partake together. <laughs> Let us join together in the prayer of thanksgiving. O oh God of light, we thank you for your brightness and your constant shining in the face of Jesus. As we depart from this table, may Christ's light so shine through us that others may see our good works and give you glory. Amen. So, I do have an offering place today, which I don't always give, but um, if you'd like to put it in the offering now or later, it'll be up here in the front. And we will actually pray the prayer of dedication because uh, there are offerings in the plate already. So we are receiving gifts. We just don't sometimes have the um, traditional means of receiving. <laughs>
our gifts in your service. May our sharing be a sign of your inbreaking realm and source of healing and hope to a world in need. We pray this in the name of the one who sends us out, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so in a moment we'll get the food out that we may partake together in, in actually a family meal. Uh, and we'll pronounce the benediction after we're done with the meal. But right now I'd like to sing, Make Me a Servant, and we'll sing together through this twice. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. 